everybody, Mike Dubois Brand here again, doing another Skyrim video. Um, my second so far in the series. Last time, if you recall, uh, we got through the intro to it, and you know we got out of. We'll go to load. Make sure we'll go to the auto. Um, and my character, we're gonna be Magugula. Um, yep, if you recall correctly, we got through, we got out of Helgen, that was being destroyed, um, you know, we got, we got through all that, and I decided to go with Hadvar instead of Rayloff this time, for once, actually, because I generally decide to go with Rayloff, because he's just, I feel like, between the two, they're both pretty decent guys, but I just, I really, really hate the Empire, just with a passion, but I feel like it makes a little bit more sense to go with the Empire, me being a high elf this playthrough, so, uh, all right, here we are. And we just escaped from the cavern. And we gotta... Oh no, we gotta crouch. We're gonna hide. We're gonna hide from this dragon. We're hiding. We're hiding. Pick Looks like he's gone for good this time. All but right. I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. I don't think we should either. I feel like you're probably Closest back. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My <laughs> uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. Alright. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. I love how they say that, but they never actually mean it. You, you end up following him anyways. And he's like, um, yes, I, I want to split up, but can you please come with me? I'm scared. See, like, watch. Just let him run. Just just watch. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with See, he'll stop and wait for you. We could really use someone like you. And now he's already trying to Kate pander to me. Why would the rebels have a dragon? Like, why would you even think that the rebels are responsible for the dragon attack? I don't... I mean, I, that'd be awesome if you could, like, control a dragon. Which, later on in the game, you can. But that's that's just basically because of a DLC that they, that they released, which was awesome. Alright, we'll go this way. We'll keep running. Oh, look. It is... The Standing Stone. Oh yeah, once you get down there, it's the standing stones. Wow, you're slow. Maybe it's because I'm a high elf and I'm in a mage's, mage's outfit. This game is really laggy, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys know that, I mean, it's Skyrim, and any Elder Scrolls game, it's so massive that it is going to be kind of laggy, but... I discovered the Guardian Stones. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Oh, okay, go cool. Ahead. See for yourself. All right, like I said, we're gonna go with the mage um, because you know I, I'm deciding to try to go as a mage this time. To each his own. Well, see, see, like they, I love how they say the same things too. I actually, I really like Hadvar and I really like Rayloff. I think they're both awesome. It just, which makes it really tough for me to choose. That's the only thing that makes it tough for me to choose between the Imperial Legion and the Stormcloaks because I love Rayloff and I love Hadvar. I think they're both awesome. And, I mean, they're pretty much essentially the exact same character. But, I, I don't know. I've always, I've always like, kind of, you know, broed out a little bit with, with more with Rayloff instead of, you know. Stop, just stop randomly stopping. I know I've already, you know, What are they going to do to me? I am the old Mary Dominion. All right. Now, I know that there there's wolves up here, so I always take my take my flames out and just torch them. Ah, death. Ah, death. My destruction skills increased. Good. Destruction magic is really awesome if you can get it up high enough. Like, you can learn things like Blizzard, and Blizzard is just beastly. Uh, ooh. Um, and, oh, and if you want to be a blacksmith, definitely take all the pelts that you can get. Because... And if you don't, just take them anyway so you can sell them. That's, that's my honest strategy. Alright, nothing else is going to accost us in our journey to Riverwood. So let's get a move on. Alright. I just, I don't even care that it's been four years. Just, the scenery is still, I'm still in awe of the scenery. I think, is that the throat of the world? I don't think so. I think the throat of the world is somewhere else. Alright, let's meander our way down through here. 
See, the cool thing is, is with either place, and I didn't realize this until, well, like, my sixth or seventh playthrough of this, is that whatever place you decide to go... What, oh, dude, you are so far behind. You are just like... Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Whatever place you decide to go, they, they will take you in and they will allow you to to take pretty much all of their shit. They don't care. So I've literally clean, started on, cleaning them out and just selling all their shit so I can get more gold in the beginning of the game. Hi, Sven. How you doing, buddy? Uncle Alvar, hello. Uncle Alvar, hello. What are you doing here? Are you on I, I mean, and I like... Uh, they're all, like, really cool, cool people. Like, Alvar and his wife or whatever are cool people. Keep your voice down. And there's also, like... Um, I can't remember. It's, like, Rayloff's sister or something. So, again, very, very similar. Same, same thing. Different, but still the same. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go I'm a friend. Inside. I'm a friend now. Say you're friends with the coolest-looking high elf ever. I've got a wizardly beard. A wizardly beard. A dragon! I saw a dragon! Well, that's terrifying. I love how he's, like, so condescending. He's like, oh, yeah, you crazy old bitch. And I'm like, uh, actually, she's not crazy. I just barely escaped this said dragon. So you're just kind of a dick. He is the first character, when I first played, he was the first character that I hated. I fucking hate Sven. I think he is such a Secret. douche. We have company. See, right now it says steal, but I guarantee you in a minute I can take fucking everything. Who is this? Oh, Come, Dorothy. You two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, Thor, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. Well. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' escort. We will stop the hell yet. My people listen to the trap music attacked. in these places. Phenomenal. By a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk. <laughs> Are you, boy? <laughs> you aren't drunk, are you, boy? Let him tell his story. Hey, how you doing? Not much more to tell. Hey, this dragon flew over how you doing? Nice booty. Look at that. Masking Look at that booty. Yeah. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. Right. You're welcome. I need to get back to solitude and let them know what's happened. Yeah, you need I to get back to solitude. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Literally, like, I'm pretty sure for any time you can come back to this place and they will let you sleep here. Which is pretty awesome. Not that it's really required. But I need your help. We need your help. Alright, so, uh, take, 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 take all this. And I'm gonna steal all your shit and you have nothing left. I know there, yeah. We need to get to our to Jarl Balgruff. Jarl Balgruff is the worst name ever. I have gruff balls. Like I said. And look, see, check this out. Take, 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 take. Everything that went was from steel went to take. So, except for the garnet, you don't take the garnet, but you can take all their gold. There are some things that you can't take, and there are a lot of things that you can. So definitely just, like, take everything you can. Take gold, take gold, take gold, take gold, take gold. Take coin purse. Take iron dagger. And read a gentleman's guide to white run. Fuck, I will take that too. Oh, Mikhail the Bard. We'll meet him later. Because he is a... No, I'm not lost, Dorth. Shut up, Dorth. All right, I already took everything out of that chest. Literally case the place and take fucking everything. And you know what's funny is I have cased the place and I've done it several times and I'll probably end up doing it again. I have cased everything. Yes, I saw a dragon. Shut up. I'm trying to steal all your shit. Alright, let's see. Baskets. I don't take baskets. I take pretty much everything I can eat. And garlic is a hot commodity. Garlic is a hot commodity. Clean the place out. I mean, I pretty much take every opportunity to get everything I can. And once I get over encumbered, then I go and sell it all. Iron dagger, iron sword, iron gauntlets. I can't steal the iron. I can't take the iron armor, which is weird. Like, that's stealing. But I could take literally every other piece of the armor he has down here. 
Hello, how how are beautiful? My goodness. Oh good, I can take the belt, the tunic, the torch. I'm not taking the kettle, I'm taking that, I'm taking that, and I'm taking that. Good for me. Alright. Alright. So we're gonna marathon through this, but this is pretty much what I do. Um I do I really do take my time to go through and just take all their shit. And uh, that's that's fucked up of you. That's that's I can't believe you'd say that. Uh, they, they they're people too. All right. Let's uh. They want me to go to White Run. Who's this guy? Embry. He's a drunk. Oop, something. No, I don't. You fucking drunk. Fucking drunk. All right, we're gonna go to the Riverwood Trader. Which the cool thing about the Riverwood Trader is at the beginning. It actually. Well, one of us has to do something. It I actually no. Um, no adventures, no makes it so no thief chasing. Well, you can you get another quest, then, which is pretty neat. Let's hear it. We are Damn it! Talking about this. Fucking oh, computer's dying. Uh, all right, well let's just turn it this way, I guess. Literally the most inconvenient thing of all time, of all the times. There, no more battery though. We'll turn it a little bit. It's bullshit. Alright. We, well, pretty much I missed most of what they were saying. The Riverwood Trader is ever. What did something uh, yeah. happen? An ornament. Solid gold. I could help you get the claw back. Uh, honestly, something to do, for sure. You get, you get like, a, like 150 gold. Back. But it's literally something you're going to get anyways, and you, you have no claw, use for it whatsoever. So you might as well do it. Um, what, Trinkets, what do you have for sale? Odds and ends. Oh, that sort of thing. Odds and ends. That sort of thing. All right, I don't want half the shit I have. I don't want an iron battle axe. I don't want five iron daggers. You know what? I don't want any. I don't want an iron mace. I'll take one sword. Get rid of the warhammer and keep one bow. That's it. Apparel. I don't want belted tunics. I don't want foot wraps. I only need one fur boot. If I decide to have fur gauntlets, which I probably will, sell the gold necklace. I'm cleaning him right out. Um, I'm selling imperial armor, imperial light boots light helmet. Um, I think I'm going to go light armor in this playthrough because I normally do heavy armor because I do really, really like the fact that it it, it really supports you pretty well. Um, silver ring. Or this, one of the Stormcloak Quiruses. I don't know how to say that. Is it is it Quirus? Swirus? I don't know. I don't know what that is. It, it, it's chest piece. That's pretty much what it is to me. Alright, potions. We'll keep all our potions. I always do. Food. Um, I you don't do any food, so I literally just go. Da -na 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 I keep nothing for food because it weighs. Eventually, it will weigh you down. Ingredients, I keep every ingredient uh, because I do. Honestly, I really do like to. Uh, I'll sell the book of the Dragonborn as well. Miscellaneous, we'll get rid of buckets, and we'll keep all the hides we have. We'll get rid of all the tankards. We'll get rid of the five, three wooden bowls and the two wooden plates. And now we have 432 gold. So that's actually a pretty decent way to start in this. Um, now we'll get rid of that. Now, if you're going to get through it, you should head to I don't think that I need to take advice from you ever. All right, let's go. I'm not going to Bleak Falls Barrow. I'm going right through to White Run and straight on till morning. All right. Another phenomenal game, by the way, which I will be doing a series on in the very near future. <laughs> Shameless promoting. I love it. <laughs> All right. So, hey, watch up. Hey, row. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go that way, but I kind of want to just go this way. I really want to sneak up this thing and light it on fire. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. How did you see me? I was invisible. Hey, look, a bunny. Now a dead bunny. Dead bunny! Alright, I roasted a rabbit. I'm gonna take the rabbit leg. But I am pretty much gonna devote myself completely to the school of Magica. So that's cool. Alright, if you look down there, you see way over there. I'm pretty sure that's Whiterun. So we'll, we'll head on down here. And that's not to say I'm just going to go, like, after I do the main quest line, I'm just going to go to the College of Winterhold. I mean, I'm going to still do 
every, and I mean everything. I'm going to be a completionist as always, but you know, I'm definitely going to try to just devote myself mostly to magic and and one-handed weaponry. That's that's basically what I want to do. But I might I might throw a shield in there. Yep, and there's White Run right down there. It's actually it's really really simple to get to. I always follow. I always follow the trails. Now, see, when I'm a Stormcloak, every time I see these guys, I free him and I kill all of them. But I'm going to join the Empire this time. So I am, I am, yeah, I'm going to join the Empire on, in this in this playthrough. So I'm just going to wander on past, be like, yeah, good for you. Y you're doing a good job, sir. I'm very impressed. All right, so there's White Run. Now, one thing, if you want to, uh, if you want to join. The fighters, uh, the, what is the fighters guild in this game, which is the companions, obviously. You you want to make sure that you set a good impression, and you kill the giant with them. But don't light any of them on fire. That's one thing I'm gonna have a problem with here is lighting any of them on fire. So let's 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 rush over this way because they they are in the gardens. Right, fark ass. You look strong. Come to Norvasker and be a companion. Come to Norvasker. You handle yourself well. You can Thank make you. A See, shield, if you right? don't help her, she pretty much is like, "Wow, and that's outside, finished. Eh? No thanks to you." An order of warriors. We are brother, and we shall right. to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for Can I join say. you? Yeah. The old man's got it. If All right. you go to him, I'll go talk to Codlack Whitemane. But for now. The main quest. So we just got another side quest. Speak to the leader of the speak with the leader of the companions. That's Codlack White Mane. They have such interesting names. What did, what was he called when he didn't have a white mane? Was he called Codlack Dark Mane? Like that doesn't sound as nice. Or was he literally just born Codlack White Mane? Because he didn't have a white mane at the time. Yeah. So, do 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 do. Walking through the gates of White Run. Still to this day, this game is probably the funnest game, or one of the funnest games I've ever played, and one of the most time consuming. The only other ones would be like Mass Effect, stuff like that. And Mass Effect, I will again do a playthrough of that in the near future if you guys are interested in it, because it's my favorite game series of all time. The tr for the trilogy, it is my favorite. City's closed with so. the dragons about. So I, I'm aware. I know. I knew before you knew that dragons were about. So, let's. Uh, this actually is really good because I have news from Helgen about the dragon oh. attack. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. See, if you use persuade, it helps. It, yeah, your speech increases, which is good. It kind of helps set the tone for whether you're going to be able to convince people later on in the game or not. So definitely, you because nine times out of ten you're gonna be able to get the persuasion option in the beginning. You and I, I don't have any good persuasion yet because as a high elf you don't get any bonuses to start. If you were an imperial, you, you'd get a bonus to start, but I don't get one because of being a high elf you don't. So it, it's it's definitely useful to do that in the beginning. All right, now we're in White Run. We'll pay whatever it takes. We so we got to make our way to the Cloud District to go talk to Yarl Gruffballs and get a. Uh, Get, get get him aware of this situation that we is currently in. Excuse me, guard. I'm just going to meander. Brigands. See, this is a dead tree. That is a dead, dead fucking tree. All right, if you look up there, that's your Vasker, which is, you know, the place of the, the companions, the the companions, the fighter kill, pretty much. Um, all right, you head all the way up here. This fucking guy right here. Oh, wait, that's not him. That's Ulfred Battleborn. He actually isn't that bad. He's not that bad. I thought he was fucking Nazim or Nazir or whatever his fucking name is. He's like, been to the cloud district often. I can see that you haven't. So I'm like, um, I'm going to punch you in the dick. Shut the fuck up. You're not dressed for the occasion. I'm like, oh, I'm going to fucking, oh, I hate that fucking guy. But, you know, there, there's a few people like that. You walk, but there's one woman in solitude you walk by and she's like, going to the blue palace wearing that. I'm like, um, I'm going to light you on fire. My lord, please. Ah, there's What's the balls. meaning of this interruption? Excuse me. Not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen about the red dragon attack. Well, how about you don't pull your sword on me, or I'll turn you into kindling. Oh, 
Oh, uh, yeah, you're a dark elf, so you're with them. So, you were at Helgen. I was at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? I saw this dragon with my own eyes. Yeah. Yes, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. Or, the dragon destroyed Helgen, and the last I saw it was heading this way. The Imperials about to execute Ulfric Stormcloak, and then the dragon attack. All right, we'll go with that. Should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. Now, if I if I side with the Stormcloaks, I'm like, no, they were trying to cut my head off. Shall we continue to trust in so. the strength of our walls? But honestly, I really do like the Jarl Balgruff the Greater. He is a, he's a cool guy. He's the skinniest Nord I've ever seen, though. It's in the most immediate danger. But... But, you know, just so you guys are aware, if you uh, if you side with the Stormcloaks, you boot him out of power. If you side with the Im Imperials, he gets to stay the Jarl, which is which is awesome, actually, because I really like him. And the other Jarl, it's, I think it's from the clan Grey, Grey, uh, Grey Mane, and he's all right. He's really nothing special. But, yes, Preventious of a Nietzsche, or whatever your name is. Well done. I did. Here. Aw, oh, thank you. You gave me thing you could come. something I won't let's use. Come, let's go find Farengar, my court wizard. wizard. He's been looking into a matter He's related to these dragons. The rumors of the dragons. See, this is the thing. He pretty much, and this is how everything in this game goes. They're like, I'll do that small thing for you if you risk your life with thousands of druggers and, uh, and get me some random stone fucking tablet or random ring. Or something completely minuscule that, like, half the time has no good effect on the outcome at the end. I love your chops, bro. I I respect your chops. Alright, I'll fill you in. to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. You said you had a project you needed help with. The Jarl. Oh, yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Yes, ah. I could use someone to fetch something for well, me. Well, when I say fetch, when I, really I say mean fetch, delve into a when I say fetch. search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. This thing may or may not actually be there. It, it it's there, but it's just you have to fucking fight a drugger scourge or something stupid to get to it. All right, where am I going and what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? Yes, I'm straight no to the point. Tedious hows and whys. I like that. I'm glad you like Leave that. Those details to your betters, am I right? Nobody's I, uh, better than me. I'm a high elf. A certain stone I'm the best me there's ever going to be. Just ask me. Arrow. I'll tell you. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Good. That's cool. Go All to right. Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. All right. I can do that. Anything you can and tell me about the Bleak Falls Barrow? Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. I do want to know how to get there. A miserable little village. A, few a miserable little village. Fuck I'm you, sure Secret Fire. You're firing right so secret because it says Secret Fire in your name, so I know the secret. The secret is fire. So that is an oxymoron. How do you know the stone tablet is in the Bleak Falls well, Barrow? Must preserve some professional secrets, must not. I have oh, my sources. Okay, you got to maintain Reliable. your secrets. I understand. I totally get it, man. But I mean, come on. All right, so let's. Uh, all right, I don't want to know anymore. I'm just, yeah, I'm going to go off to Bleak Falls Barrow. We're going to get that done. Just so you dudes know, I am not very adept at the magic of schools. So, I might die a lot. Oh, man. See, this is one thing I don't like about this game. Is it does, like, it, it lags a lot. When you open a door or go into a different area, sometimes it's like... Eh. Okay, yeah, and continuing. Sometimes it literally will sit there and not continue. I have to hit, like, the Xbox home button to, to get it to go back, which is kind of funny. We're going to wander on with our feet. I, you know what? The Grey Mains have a right to back whoever they want, and you need to accept that. I love to be the politically correct guy in Skyrim. The Grey Mains, I believe, they're called the Elder Gentlemen. Do, 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 do. <laughs> They're not giants. They prefer to be called the vertically adept. I don't. I don't. I don't know where I was going with that. I can't afford to send anyone out. We can never rest easy. You're the house, Carl. I don't want to talk to you because you annoy me. She actually is pretty cool, though. She really doesn't annoy me. She actually is pretty cool. But the only problem I have with her is that 
she tried to attack me because she assumed that I was bad. And that is an appearance thing, and I don't like that. Not at all. Alright, in addition to doing regular damage, frost attacks deplete the blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Alright, so... Excuse me. Um, I forgot that I had a book. I have Spell Tome Sparks. I learned Sparks! Sparks is really fun if you're if if you're facing other mages because it takes away their magica, which is which is fun. Frost is good if you're facing anything. Once you learn frost, it's good because you know you you learn that it is very effective when you're trying to freeze other people. So all right, instead of running all the way back to Riverwood, we're gonna all right we're gonna go back to so yeah instead of walking all the way back to Riverwood, we're gonna fast travel there really quick just so. You know, you don't have to see me walk all the way back. I'm pretty sure it's it's easy to find our way back to Riverwood. And 99% of us are going to just fast travel back anyways because it's a million times easier. Um, and, and I definitely want to... I, I definitely want to uh, not take up that much time meandering my way back. So, R.K. is the god of burials and funeral rites. His priests root out undead and necromancy. I couldn't read the rest of that, so thank you. I wasn't done. Well, look at all the beautiful northern lights. They're so pretty. All right. I have no companion right now. I am level one. Usually, I will go off and, and just have some fun time just fucking around and, and building some levels before I do this. So, you know, fuck it. We're just going to run right in there. I might get my ass beat, but you know what? That is the nature of the scrim. So, yeah, Bleak Falls Barrow is that way. So, we're going to go up here. Alright. Pull the old fire mitts out. Oh no, I see I smell wolves. I smell wolven brethren. Ah! Ah, you bastard! This wolf is on fire. I have a lot of fun with, with the wolves. I really do. Because they're really easy to kill. Honestly, though, the tough one that was the biggest pain in the ass for me that used to beat my ass was when you're traveling up the thousand steps. It's like one of the first ice wolves you encounter. And if you're not ready for it, like, if you don't expect it and you don't expect to have to actually, like, really fight it hard when you have it on the toughest difficulty, it, 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 it kicks your ass. I got my ass beat by an ice wolf. I have no problem admitting that. I have since, I believe, gotten better at Skyrim. But I was still really, really new to it at the time. And even in this game, you can crank the difficulty all the way down to super easy. And it, some of the stuff is still not super easy. It still scales based on level. And I'm going to torch these assholes. And guess what? You're on fire, bandit! And you're dead. You're also on fire. Ah, oh, you fell off the mountain. Alright, let's let my magic regenerate for a second. Oh, let's see what this guy has. He has anything good. Iron sword. I'll take his gold. Alright. I'm not even wearing armor. I'm just wearing magicka stuff. Oh, what's in here? I see. Coin purse. I thought I did. Let's have your coin purse. I am going to travel. Not because I have to. Just because there is somebody else that I can kill. And I enjoy it. This bandit is tougher than the other bandit. But he's still dead because I lit him on fire. Steel War X. I will take that because that actually is worth a pretty penny. But yeah, I mean, I like I like coming up here because there's a chest right up here, so definitely it's fun. You get 64 gold, which later on in the game you're like, fucking 64 gold, that was a waste of my time. But early in the game it is like, harsh, hextaf, hard guard, is awesome. Alright, so we'll, we'll head back on over here. Pop our way back this way. Alright, so we came up this way. So we're just going to keep on going this way. See, this is one thing. I always hate having to find this place. And it's not even hard to find. It's just like half the time I take the wrong turn and I and I go the wrong way. And then I get myself, you know, punched in the dick. So, oh my goodness. I have a text message. Don't let your dreams be dreams. All right. Here is Bleak Falls Barrow. All right. Making my way downtown, walking past the base. Whoa, whoa, where are you? 
Whoa! Ah! Ah! You're dead. Excuse me, bitch. I don't like being shot at. Ow, you motherfucker. Cool thing about being, um... The cool thing for me about being a mage is that... And, and being a high elf mage, when you're fighting other mages, it is a real disadvantage. But when you're not, when you're fighting like people, you have a lot more magicka. You have like, I believe, 50 points more magicka that you're pretty much just born with. You're like, I have more magicka than you. Well, I'll take these hunting bow because those are fun. All right, now let's stand outside for a second. Let my magicka regenerate. In a one-on-one -on -one combat, it's actually really, really efficient. And take your gold and your lockpicks. Lockpicks are like gold in this game until you get the skeleton key, which makes me mad because you have to give it back as part of a quest line, and I think you should be able to keep it. That should be a reward. The skeleton key should be a reward. It is such a useful tool, and I loved the shit out of it in Oblivion because it literally, like, you didn't break a lockpick ever again, and it was, it was, I mean, it's kind of like a cheat, but you really do have to earn it. You have to bust your ass to get it. So, it's it, totally worth it. Totally worth it, in my opinion. But. Alright. So, I think I'm going to end that video here with you with you guys. Um, so, just to recap, again, we went to White Run. We talked to y'all Gruff Balls, and he's sending us to Bleak Falls Barrow. So, we're in Bleak Falls Barrow now. Uh, I just don't want to continue this too much longer because, you know, the next part of this is still about another 20-minute quest. So, again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, click subscribe. If you really like it, give me a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And any other videos you want me to try to do in the future, definitely let me know because I'm open to any ideas you guys have. Realistic ideas. I don't want any fucked up ideas. Uh, maybe fucked up ideas, too. I'm okay with that. But, again, subscribe, like, leave a comment below. Let me know how I did. And as always, stay tuned, and 